In this video we're going to be creating bulkheads on, on your ceiling so that you, you'll notice that there is a step down in the ceiling so that you can put in lighting or just to make it your design look a bit look a bit better. So the first thing that you would do, you would go to your, your plus sign, you would click on that, then you would go to your, your cupboards icon and you'll notice it gives you your kitchen defaulted um, catalog. I'm going to change that from Fusion QM and I'm going to change that I'm going to go down until I hit advanced graphics. I'm going to click on advanced graphics and then under advanced graphics I am going to to choose a box so I'm going to type in star box and there's there's my my unit there. Now, now I would need to change the size of it so what I would do is I would make it three meters because I'll actually make it five meters because that's the size of the 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 wall Depth, I'm going to make it one meter, and the height of it, I'm going to keep it at, uh, let's make it 250. And I'm going to put the height off the ceiling, I'm going to make it uh, 2350, and then I'm going to add that in. So there's my, my first object, and now I'm going to just turn my, my cursor around by going Control and 9. You'll notice my cursor face is down now. Now I would I'd add in the, that unit again. It's going to say there's a clash, and that's normal because it's going over it. But for now, this is a graphic presentation, so it, it doesn't concern me right now. I'm just going to go Control 9 again, and press Add, and add that next one in. And then the last one, Control 9, and press Add again. And there is my 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 four bulkheads, kind of the step down of those. So I'm just going to choose these and make sure that they're in the right height. So I'm going to go right click and go perspective or elevation, I should say. And there is is my unit there. You'll notice it's it's come above the it's just below the ceiling, and so you'll see a step down. I actually want to make it look a look a little nice, so I'm going to go star arc. I'm just going to put a bit of capping on the top. Click on the poly add item tool which is a freehand tool and click where I want them. And finish it off there. I'm just going to check the height again, so I would go to right click elevation and we should be able to see that, where is that, there we go, let's have a look again, okay, there it is, it's perfect height, let's go and have a look and see what it looks like in the design, so you would right click and go perspective and let's get your our views uh, to the to the best one right click here and there it is we have our, our drop down ceiling and you can add another one if you if you wanted to that's that's how, how easy it is to do it so I'm just gonna put our focus height at 1500 And I'm going to just have a look at a, a few of these. As you can see, it's it's all dropped down, and we've made a, a little bulkhead here. And that's how easy it is to to make a, a step down a bulkhead on on your ceiling. Um, thank you very much for for watching this video.